The Earth produces a fascinating array of minerals, but some conceal significant dangers beneath their crystalline beauty. These minerals pose risks ranging from direct toxicity to long-term health hazards, reminding us that nature's creations often demand respect and careful handling. Surprisingly, these 10 minerals prove that nature's most beautiful creations can sometimes be its most deadly. Hold on to your curiosity. Subscribe to Information Thin for more eye-opening discoveries and share this with a friend who loves unraveling Earth's secrets. The countdown begins where breathtaking beauty meets hidden risk. Number 10. Antimony Crystal This striking metallic mineral serves as the primary ore for antimony, featuring dramatic spear-like crystal formations that appeal to collectors. When handled improperly, Stibnite can release toxic dust or fumes that cause respiratory irritation and gastrointestinal issues. The mineral's lead-grey crystals often form in radiating clusters that resemble metallic explosions. Miners and mineral processors face the greatest risk during extraction and handling. Proper storage in sealed containers minimizes danger while preserving specimens for study or display. Historically, Stibnite was used in ancient Egyptian cosmetics and medicines despite its toxicity. Modern applications include flame retardants and semiconductors, requiring careful industrial handling. The mineral's high specific gravity makes it feel unexpectedly heavy for its size, adding to its distinctive nature. Number 9. Thallium Mineral This rare sulfur salt mineral combines thallium, arsenic and lead, creating a triple threat of toxicity. Hutchinsonite typically appears as red to black prismatic crystals in hydrothermal vein deposits. The mineral poses significant risks through skin contact, inhalation, or accidental ingestion. Thallium poisoning can cause hair loss, nerve damage, and organ failure. Its danger is heightened because attractive specimens might tempt collectors to handle them without adequate protection. Only experienced collectors with proper safety equipment should manage this mineral. Found primarily in Switzerland and Peru, this mineral requires specialized containment for safe museum display. Even microscopic particles can be harmful if they enter the body, making glove boxes essential for research. Number 8. Arsenic Sulfide Known for its vibrant yellow-orange color and historical use as a pigment, orpiment contains highly toxic arsenic. The mineral forms in hydrothermal veins and volcanic fumaroles, often associated with real gar and other arsenic minerals. When crushed or heated, orpiment releases arsenic trioxide, a potent carcinogen. Ancient artists who used it as paint suffered chronic health problems. Modern collectors must handle specimens with gloves and avoid generating dust during storage or examination. The name orpiment derives from the Latin oripigmentum, meaning golden paint, reflecting its historical value. Number 7. Copper Sulfate This blue crystalline mineral forms in copper deposits exposed to weathering and oxygen. While beautiful, chalcanthite dissolves easily in water, releasing copper ions that can contaminate water supplies and harm aquatic life. The mineral poses risks through accidental ingestion, particularly to children who might mistake its bright blue crystals for candy. Mining operations monitor its formation as an indicator of acid mine drainage. Collectors should store specimens securely and wash hands thoroughly after handling. Artificial crystals are often grown for educational purposes, but natural specimens require careful labeling. In some regions, it has been used illegally to poison fish for easy capture. Number six, blue asbestos. Among the most dangerous asbestos varieties, this fibrous mineral was once widely used in construction and insulation. Its needle-like fibers can become airborne and lodge in lung tissue when disturbed. Prolonged exposure leads to mesothelioma, lung cancer, and asbestosis. The mineral's blue-gray color and silky appearance made it popular in various applications before its health risks were fully understood. Safe removal requires specialized equipment and training to prevent fiber release. Most countries have banned its use, but existing buildings still contain this material. 
The fibers are so fine, they can penetrate standard dust masks, requiring respirators with HEPA filters. Number five, arsenic pyrite. Often called fool's gold, due to its metallic luster, this iron arsenic sulfide mineral poses significant risks when handled or heated. The mineral releases toxic arsenic fumes when struck or exposed to heat, creating dangers for geologists testing minerals or miners working in confined spaces. Its silver-white crystals often form distinctive rhombic or prismatic shapes in hydrothermal veins. Proper ventilation and protective equipment are essential when examining or storing this mineral. When struck with a hammer, it emits a distinct garlic-like odor due to arsenic release. Number four, fluorite crystal. While generally safe when intact, fluorite becomes hazardous when crushed or heated. Some specimens contain uranium impurities that make them radioactive, while others may release fluorine gas when damaged. The mineral's perfect cleavage causes it to break into sharp fragments that can generate harmful dust. Miners and lapidaries face the greatest risk during cutting and processing. Collectors should avoid inhaling dust from broken specimens and store damaged pieces separately. The mineral gives its name to the phenomenon of fluorescence, which was first observed in fluorite samples. Its vibrant zoning and banding make it popular among collectors, but each piece should be tested for radioactivity. Hydrofluoric acid production relies on fluorite, requiring extreme safety measures in industrial settings. Number three, beryllium silicate. This rare gemstone mineral contains beryllium, an element that causes chronic beryllium disease when inhaled as dust. The condition leads to scarring of lung tissue and respiratory impairment. Phenocyte's high hardness and clarity make it popular among gem collectors, but cutting and polishing generate dangerous dust. The mineral typically forms in granite pegmatites and metamorphic rocks. Lapidaries must use water suppression and respiratory protection when working with this material. Despite its danger, phenocyte is valued for its high refractive index and diamond-like luster. Brazil and Russia produce the finest gem quality specimens for specialized collectors. Number two, feldspar group. As the most abundant mineral group in Earth's crust, feldspar seems innocuous, but poses silicosis risks when processed. Industrial workers involved in mining, crushing, or cutting feldspar may inhale fine dust containing crystalline silica. Long-term exposure leads to lung scarring and reduced respiratory function. The mineral's widespread use in ceramics, glass, and abrasives means many workers encounter it regularly. Modern industries implement dust control measures to protect workers from inhalation hazards. Feldspar's weathering produces clay minerals that form essential components of soil. Some varieties show iridescence called adularescence, making them popular in jewellery.